What's going on, fish keepers? It's your boy, Chris to the Wang. Welcome back to Wang Review. I mean, fish for thought. Maybe I should start a new channel called Wang Review, though. What do you guys no, no, think? No. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for saying hi. Without further ado, fish tank review. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I cannot stop laughing. I was taking some cool shots of my new tank decor, but Niskel Ball stumbled on some moss while walking. He looks so silly. Wow. That is Nescau Ball, I'm assuming. A very rambunctious, very healthy looking fat axolotl. <laughs> You've been stopping by to say hi. That is a gorgeous tank. Oh shoot, I didn't even see that axolotl right in the background there. Doing a great job camouflaging, apparently. Who knew axolotls are experts of camouflage, especially the bright white and pink ones. Some white cloud mountain minnows up in the mix. I don't know what that carpet is, but I can't help but think it's fake. Although there are some real plants in here, there are actually a lot of real plants to the point where maybe the carpet isn't fake, but that would be an insane carpet. What plant is that? It looks like turf. If it is indeed real, I'm so sorry for assuming. Doesn't even matter though, in this case, like it looks soft. Um, I was, I'm assuming it's axolotl safe. It looks like a great time in there. Both your axolotls look super healthy, super well fed. Not to mention like this unit of a white cloud. I don't know if that's just a pregnant white cloud or like what are you feeding? That white cloud can take me on in a 1v1. Beautiful tank. Just watch this while looking at this comment. <laughs> This has honestly got to be one of the best axolotl tanks I've ever seen. There is fake decor and I'm just a little bit worried about that. Like I've heard so many stories about either fish or just pets getting stuck in these smaller things that have holes in it. But you know what? I'm not an axolotl expert. I mean, these axolotls have less scratches than my car. So I'm just gonna assume I don't even know a fraction of what this person knows taking care of axolotls. However, my comment section, my viewers, my audience often have quite a few experts. So I am once again reaching out to you to see if this is actually okay for axolotls. Guys, thank you for being the sponsor of this episode. Check out my merch. My patrons on Patreon get some percent off the merch as well as joining the Discord. Get the fish keeping merch to complete your fish keeping look. I do not have a sales degree. I don't know. Um, do you want a new shirt? <laughs> and I'm always trying to come up with better ideas and better design sort of graphics and trying to implement that the best way I can. So I'm trying to keep this merch Update it for y'all. Thanks for your support, bros. This tank is sent in by Ubes. This is a 54 gallon bow front. Ooh, getting hot in here. We got Serpe Tetras up in the mix. We got Congo Tetras, Neon Tetras, Kerbenzes, Corridors, Bristlenose Pleco. And this is after their trimming session. This is after their haircut. Snip, snip. Cute baby Pleco. It's giving me tropical island feels. A sandy beach, dwarf sag, hygrophila polysperma in the back with a sword, clean rockscape and woodscape in the back, a little bit of detailing in the pebbles, clean backdrop, no BS, red roof float and other floaters up top and it's such a great size a classic 4.6 out of 5 keep it up me versus normal people when going to the beach normal people wow look there's so much seals how cute it's so many get it right wow i'm big today me perfect for iwagumi layout truth where's the lie that is all i look for actually false i don't even look at that what i'm looking for is free wood repeat after me Wood is good, especially in the morning. Book I found at my grandparents published in 1954. I didn't even know they published books back then. But look at the Harlequin Rasboras swimming in the what I can only describe as hornwort. Look at the leather back though, that's crazy. Do they even still make leather backs besides Bibles? This is already a five out of five book. I can feel it in my bones. Wow, what is a paper shell? I don't even, never heard of that one. Is that just a pond snail? Red ram's horn, Colombian ram's horn, amazing. Australian red, no, that's the pond snail, limpet. Magnified. Yo, these uh, these drawings are peak. Now we got white ram's horns, we got mystery snails, we got Malaysian trumpet snails. They probably didn't know any of that back then because it didn't actually make it across the world yet. Globalization. Oh, neon tetris. And in the background, we got tiger lily. Beautiful. People are so good at drawing back then. I can't even draw stick men. This book, definitely five out of five. Bam. This might actually be an actual photograph. We got crypto occurring with Lisi I, I think. Top notch. And the angels. Got a drawn picture with Valis in the back. Thick Valis. And we got a photograph of the angels giving birth. I think taking care of their babies, their eggs stuck to some plants. Cool perspective. Actually, I still think that is a drawing. It's just shaded in black and white. Maybe they're just all drawings. They do such a good job, I can't even tell. Man, it's super cool. I wish I could own some of these just very old stuff in this hobby. They're like vintage, heritage products. If I had to start a new collection of something, I would want to collect 
like old aquarium books. That is a dream collection right there. Aina sent in their first planted tank. No freaking way. All these first planted tank owners just destroying my first tanks. I'm so jealous. Daniels, shrimp, coolie loaches, a tiny pleco that's probably gonna get um, rehomed. Because I don't think this tank, I don't know how big it is, but it doesn't look like it's nearly big enough for any uh, species of pleco. So hopefully that is getting rehomed. Another thing that's not so good right off the bat, the Anubias and the Java Fern are both just stuffed into the substrate that is a big no-no you can get away with barely planting their finer roots into some looser bigger substrate like gravel 4.25 out of 5 keep it up this is so great first time damn my aquarium escape room Woo! That is a room setup. This is where dreams are made. You got the gaming setup and when you need to relax because, you know, trying to go to Plat and Valorant is just not working out tonight. Just like drop in, in ELO. All you have to do, unplug, turn around, boom, you're in paradise again. You forgot why you were so angry in the first place. This is a perfect strategy. Five out of five strat, bro. Uh, Skeddy al dente. I don't know, if, is that a, did you forget the P and the A? Did you forget some letters in spaghetti? <laughs> Doesn't matter how good or bad your spelling is because your aquascaping skills are phenomenal. This is a water box clear mini six. I gotta get my hands on one of those. They, they be looking clean. Oh, Renekii mini. We got some Guyana. I had to Google what that was. It's pretty much like Elodie. We got Monte Carlo, Water Lily, White Clouds, and Sherm. This is quite obvious a Dutch inspired style aquascape, and it's so successful. This is indeed a box of water, one of the best boxes of water. This is getting a certified scape score in the Dutch style aquarium aquascaping category. 5 out of 5. Keep up the great work. Goodness gracious. What an actual God's green earth. That's gotta be photoshopped. If that's not photoshopped, I'm about to uninstall my existence without saving. Apparently it's not photoshopped. Apparently there's a thing, there's such a thing as aquatic centipede. Let me Google this up right quick, right quick. Aquatic centipedes. Why am I Googling this y'all? Don't worry, I won't show you. Apparently it's called Scolopendra cataract. And they grow up to almost eight inches y'all. Insane. I did not know about this. I knew there was like scuba diving spiders. I had to get bored of the land, I guess. I didn't know there was also scuba diving billionaire centipedes in submarines. That is insane. And uh, if I saw one of these in my tanks, I, I'm not, I'm not messing around here. If I turned around, saw that in my <laughs> chili raspora tank, boy, I might not be able to sleep for three days straight. Is this big enough for a guppy? I had a feeling it's one of these videos. <laughs> no, how dare you. A single guppy in this 200 gallon tank you've prepared for it? You know the fish grows to the size of the tank, right? You're gonna have a 200 pound guppy. That's what that means. How dare you? This is fish abuse. I'm reporting you to the police. I'm calling FFT. I'm calling 1-800-FFT-FFTT. Very creative. Zero out of five TikToker right here. Why are you even on TikTok, bro? My favorite part about glass cats. Why is there a beta in the back? Is he in timeout or something? Ooh, yes. I think um, what OP is trying to say here, their favorite thing about glass cats is that it refracts the light. It's like a rainbow. You see those light refracting diagrams in your science 10 textbook? There's one strand of light and it goes through a crystal and it goes into like taste a rainbow. Light refraction experts. These are the masters of light. Just kidding. They don't even know they're doing it. <laughs> they're kind of dumb actually. But that's also one of my favorite things about the glass cats as well. The other thing is that they usually form a very tight school and they stay in like one location in the tank super neat to see apparently in the comment section they were saying that this is a new bed of fish that they're introducing to this tank so they wanted to just test out the waters with it first see that it's not too aggressive figured out why my aquarium has drips down the front <laughs> well that I mean, that'll do it. <laughs> Those darn Garami spitting water all the time. Beautiful tank, by the way. The tiger lilies in the back with those long stems. Ah, oh, beautiful. The Garami aside, the hatchet fish. Very, very beautiful. Although, I mean, I've seen that you decrease the water level of the tank, but I don't know if that's necessarily enough for hatchet fish. They're kind of made to jump out. I would not feel comfortable just putting hatchet fish in a tank without a lid at all. Unless maybe your water level is like around half of the aquarium itself, but at that point you're really wasting the uh, real estate. Damn, that is a Sherlock Holmes moment. Is my tank leaking? Nope, just Garami. OP Bly, another beautiful big tank, BBT, big beautiful tank, 55 gallons with three angels. And they're like baby angels, so they're just growing out. Oh my gosh, the hue of the water, at least 
leave something to be desired for me. But everything else is actual perfection. It's just the perfect rock formation with the perfect wood formation right on top of it. Powerful sponge filters, nice clean substrate, the stocking, the size. I mean, you just made angelfish heaven here. These angels are in heaven and it's just their tank to dominate and own. So much space to grow. This tank was made for the Vallis backdrop. 4.85 out of 5. Keep it up. First time I've ever been happy one of my fish died. What is this all about, man? Looks like a lot of live bearers. I can maybe see where this is going. Interest, very interesting carpet down below too. I don't even know what those plans are. Rotala with some crips. Cutting the Rotala short, I guess. My male Molly died after fathering a hundred plus kids in the time I've had him. Bro, Genghis Khan, your whole tank. Created an army. Bad news for you. Female Mollies can store sperm in their bodies for years. He haunts you from beyond the grave. Man, what is this post, bro? Has anyone else done this? I'm proud of my Krabitat. That's not what I think it is, is it? That is an underground secret cave that you just created. You trapped the air, sunk this thing with heavy things like the rocks you've put in it so that it stays in the bottom, but it's still got that pocket of air. I wonder if that air ever gets like bad or anything. I would want to try to grow like a plant in there or something, something very easy to grow so that it could keep creating like fresh oxygen. This is an amazing idea and I really want to take it. Thank you so much for like incepting this idea into my brain. And it's so cool that there's a crab in there that's utilizing this space. That is five out of five. I know no one asked me to rate this, especially not the guy who made this. I gotta do this before I die. Pet smarts, calming, stunning fish and accessories can turn your gaming setup into a tropical escape. We, I, we got a pet smart um, Reddit ad. Ain't no pet smart look like that. What are you talking about? That That is highly photoshopped as you can see. Whoever did it did a pretty good job, but just not good enough for me to see that it is indeed photoshopped. Enhance your gaming setup. Take a deep dive. Is that supposed to be a good pun? Into creating your own amazing aquarium. This would be great if it was like a fluval ad or something because that they would actually mean it. PetSmart doesn't mean any of this. They don't have the right resources to help you set up that sort of tank. They don't have the right stocking suggestions. Look at the, what? I ain't never seen. Guys, what is a more accurate depiction of this picture from PetSmart? What should their ad actually look? Like, I would say like five plecos and three bala sharks at least, just to start with Oranda goldfish up the wazoo and no plants, just glowfish decoration. That's more, that would be more accurate, don't you think? I can't believe they're trying to pull this. This is injustice. This is exactly like that one friend that's like crappy and mean to you all the time. But when they're with you in front of say your parents or th your other friends, they act all nice and pleasant to be around. And you know for a fact that they're not like that at all any time of the year. That's kind of pessimist right there. Don't try to get away with it, bro. Happened more than once. Me distracted and forgetting I'm filling my tank up with water. <laughs> Uh, it brings me back to horrible, horrible times. That's a day and a half ruined. Shout out to Chi Chi's aquatic memes for making bangers like this. Goku must be proud of you, Chi Chi. Oh, hell no. <laughs> if you have shrimp, try this delicious recipe. You'll be surprised. Boy, do I have shrimp. I have endless source. I have, um, what's it called? Infinite source shrimp. Let's get it. Tempura's on me, boys. Welcome back to the end of the episode, you beautiful people. Hopefully I made your Monday go just a little better to prep you for the rest of the week. If you're skipping math right now, Stop it. Math is important. Unless you want to be YouTuber. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not good at math. Maybe that's why I'm here, eh? Before I let you guys go, it's time for Godwa. What did you study in school and what is your job now? And if none of those really apply to you yet, what's your favorite subject in school? Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot. From Karis to form me, stupid retro road on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.